Hi, here's Darlene Honey with a new drawing video for you. This time, as you can hear, I'm doing a voiceover. The reason is, uh, on Instagram I asked the people if they want to hear my voice uh, in the background and I didn't get any answer. But when I asked the people if they would enjoy to just see the drawing video without any voice in the background and just music, they said no, definitely no. So I'm trying out a voice over the first time in my life. Don't judge me too hard for that because I'm not really knowing what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, I would really be glad if you would leave me comments and, and tell me what where my video should go, if you like it with the voice or if you like my drawing process, if you enjoy it or if, if I should change something. What would also be interesting for me is uh, at the very first videos I always showed my sketching process. Sketching process is uh, I think the longest process in uh, doing a drawing. But it seems that it's not that interesting for you so in the last videos I just cut it out. Uh, I would be really glad if you tell me if you like to see the sketching process or if it's better like that and it's not included. I mean this time there's also the outlining process not included but that was some kind of uh, accident. I just forgot to press the record button and then I was already f I already finished the first outlines. <laughs> so I wasn't able to record it anymore. Um, yeah, the tools are nearly the same as in the last video. Uh, for erasing I'm using my Devent eraser. For the first outlines I'm using my Stetter Pigment liner. And for coloring I'm using the Faber-Castell poly polychromos and the Faber-Castell black edition pencils. I really love them because they, they feel so smooth on the paper. They have so intense colors. You can mix and layer them as you want. They are really great. I mean, they are not that cheap. The black editions are black edition pencils are cheap, but the pro polychrome is not that not that cheap. Um, and I miss some colors uh, for Link. As you can see, the greens are not really the greens I would need. And there's also some kind of reddish brown missing for his shoes. But the reddish brown is mixed easily, the greens uh, not really because it's it's completely a wrong uh, type of color. So it's uh, it's not that easy to mix it. It's not impossible, but it's too much work for me. Yeah. Now... I don't know what to say. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I hope I hope I get some comments from you. Leave me some comments, tell me where my videos should go because I have really no clue what you're enjoying and what you're not enjoying. Uh, and it would really be glad to, to hear something. And it's really cool that I got some new subscribers in the last time, so thanks for that. It's really cool that you're watching my videos and that you're enjoying my channel, so thank you for that. Now we are at the outlining process, which I really love. I'm using the Tombow WSBS as nearly always in my videos, because it's my most loved pen for outlines. I really enjoy doing outlines using it. Um, yeah, outline is something I'm not really perfect at, so I'm not really knowing what I'm doing there. I'm just doing it somehow that I think it's looking interesting. If you have any recommendations, what I'm doing, what I should do, uh, if you can tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me. Uh, I'm doing my best, and I hope it's it's enough for me. For me, it looks cool, and it's enough. And I always try to to develop my skills and get better. So hopefully, I get better. I mean, Inktober is now coming, and then hopefully my inking improves a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, inking. Um, I'm using ink for background the first time of my life, so this is one of the inks I got with my glass fountain pen I bought. I got six bottles of glittery ink and I thought as a background this glittery shimmery ink would be cool because of this effect, but on the paper it turned out that you can't really see the glitter and shimmer effect, so it must be on the bottom of the bottle. 
Yeah, but the uh, colors are really cool and intense and I think it turned out quite cool so I really love the background and I think I'm I'm doing that again. So I think for the next picture I'm also using it that way. It's really cool. I hope you also like it. And for for the first time I'm also inserting some kind of uh, effect. So I inserted the stars to to, to let you see that magic is happening here. I mean the stars are also on the original uh, picture but normally I am not redrawing such details. I'm just drawing the character. Uh, yeah, there I made the area, area a little bit bigger that it turned, that it comes out a little bit better. And I also framed the picture just to make the colors pop more. Yeah. We are nearly at the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you have now seen a reason to subscribe to my channel, because I would be really glad to get a new few subscribers. And I hope we see you in the next video. Bye!